Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to sit down and kind of talk to you guys a little bit about realities of owning a dog in college. So owning a dog as a student, not to mention for me a very young dog, Kalani, my pit bull, is only, he's only a year old. So if you'd like to get into that with me, then just keep on watching. Dude, what is that? What did you eat? You threw it up? Are you okay? Do you feel better now? Okay. Yeah. Can you feel better now? Dude, what even is that? Does your tummy hurt? Does your tummy hurt now because you eat it a cat toy? That's why we not eat cat toys, honey. Oh my, you poor, poor thing. I do not feel bad. You should not have eaten a cat toy. Not consumable foods. Oh, you're so tired now from throwing up. Are you still very sad? Yeah. It's hard, isn't it? Are you feeling better? Are you still unsure? Oh. Yes, you may feel <coughs> I see you may feel better. That's not nice. We're <coughs> <laughs> annoying. <coughs> Originally, this kind of started out as a joke. Like, I had seen that Kalani had thrown up, and I was like, oh my god, what the hell is that? And I went to go, like, get a closer look at it. I realized, like, oh my god, it's a cat toy. Oftentimes, I feel like college students really overlook animals and pets as true family members and deserving of a, like, forever home and that kind of, like, eternal dynamic that I believe should exist. I think a lot of times they think, oh, so cute, so fluffy as a little baby, and then I see so many times college students saying, oh, I don't have time for them, or oh, I'm moving and my new apartment can't have them. Really sad, really, really sad dynamic where, unfortunately, you know, pets are being adopted or even purchased at times and then college students are just kind of dumping them off. And I feel like the things I want to talk to you guys about are things that, you know, maybe are influencing that and some people just aren't really thinking through the true responsibility and commitment you're making. Speaking of, hello, are you nowhere talking about you? Oh, yes. Oh. And he is not in the video today because I know oh, he's so cute up the camera right now. <laughs> but if you see his face, you totally forget all the like crazy stuff. I thought about doing a vlog style, like, oh, what it's like owning a dog, you know, for the week, like in college. Because this happened, I wanted to at least talk about cons about you know, having a dog in college as a student. Fortunately, his face would make the cons not seem that bad, so that's why his face isn't in here that much. And that literally brings us to number one, which is that he will throw up random things. If you have a puppy, this will especially happen. You know, puppies' digestive systems are kind of developing. Our pets sometimes have upset stomachs. Sometimes your pet is going to make a mess. But it means that, you know, I had to take an extra 20 minutes out of my day to clean up the vomit, clean the carpet, de-stain de it, like vacuum everything. That's, you know, a whole 20 minutes that like I was getting ready, I could have already been out the door by that point. Second con, you cannot just roll out of bed and start your day. If you're a coffee person, you can't just like make a nice cup of coffee and start out with your coffee. You have to literally, the first thing I have to do is take him outside to go to the bathroom. If I don't take him outside first thing, he will for sure, hands down, pee on the floor or poop on the floor. And in the morning, he has his little routine down. You know, he always has to go number one and number two first thing in the morning. But I think that's something that like I used to really cherish was waking up and kind of having those first moments of like serenity and peace and kind of like coming around. You don't get that when you own a dog. <laughs> just for any time in life, not just in college. But I think in college, you're time is at least my time is so highly highly booked I either have class I am working out I have an appointment I'm at work or you know I am making videos or studying or doing homework like I always have something to do I never really have that much downtime if you're into your coffee or your tea in the morning you just can't, it can't be something you indulge in first thing. Con number three applies to anyone, not just college students, but there is a financial, a large financial responsibility. I think I first heard this in the horse world and the saying is that when you buy the horse, that is the cheapest part of the horse that you'll 
ever experienced. Purchasing your dog is gonna be the cheapest part of owning him. You have food to think about, you have collar, toys, vet bills especially, and then spaying or neutering him or her, training if that's something you're into, perhaps a dog park membership. Sounds like they're all really small things, and for the most part they are, but they really truly add up over time. And those expenses on top of your already financial obligations with college and classes, you know, books, um, rent. And the other thing is, is with being a student, you know, that's most of your work. I don't really know anyone who works full time and is also a full time student. So you're not even if you if you're even working at all and having some form of income, most likely you're not making that much money. You're already pretty tight. And I'm not going to lie. That's definitely a really big con for me. The extra that I have really does go towards Kalani or my cats on number four, whether you are in a serious relationship or you're just like messing around with someone um, this one came up to me I am in a new relationship and one thing I've noticed for the last few months is that I can't just like stay at Bay's house all the time if I want to go over there and like stay the night you know you go over there for dinner say at like five or six you guys chill out you watch movies like you can't just fall asleep and stay over there you have to actually come back and let your dog out if you and then you have to drive back over there or like they have to come here. Con number five. If you're gonna go away on a trip, whether it's a family trip or just your own personal vacation, you have to have arranged dog care. You can't just pack up and leave. You know, it's not that simple. You have to figure out who's gonna be watching them, whether you're taking them there, and if you're taking them somewhere, you have to like pack up their things. So there's this whole extra step in planning that has to take place, not to mention it can be costly. You have to come home in between classes. You can't just like camp out. If you have a cla Kalani, class in the morning and then say like late afternoon, in the past, before I had Kalani, I would have gone to campus and stayed on campus in between my classes. I would have went like to the library or to like a coffee shop on campus and studied and did homework and worked on assignments. And realistically, I've figured for him, the most he can really be in his crate, I'm gone, which I do crate him when I'm gone, before he starts getting really anxious and like chewing shit up inside his kennel, is probably like about six hours is like his max time anything after that he starts getting really crazy which i don't blame him so it can honestly really take away from your studies because if you're anything like me being at home is so comfortable and i kind of find it harder to do work when i'm at home sometimes when i come home to let him out in between classes you know i don't necessarily get as much done as i would if i were to say on campus he's always just kind of a constant distraction but as a student having this extra responsibility it can be something that unless you like work really hard to put into your schedule you know he's always kind of there like wanting your attention i've worked very hard to you know and i'm still in the process of, as you can hear him going around playing <laughs> you know my training methods and kind of the best ways to make his life interesting and fun and safe while at the same time being engaged with him and being able to do you know things I have to do like school and work con number eight this kind of depends on your location I guess and you can see him throwing his toy around in the background now. He obviously needs a lot of exercise and in the spring and summer and fall months, we always go down to the dog park. There's a dog park really close to my apartment. So we'll go there and spend at least a half an hour minimum every day. But because it's the dog park is closed in the winter, it's obviously really cold and snowy here in Michigan. I find it harder to take him on extra, extra, super long walks because sometimes the temperatures are just honestly too cold and it's unsafe for either of us to be outside. Especially if you live in the Midwest or anywhere where it gets really cold in the winter time, you know, your dog is gonna need constant exercise, especially if they're younger, like Kalani is. I really don't have any more, like, me time and this goes for anyone who owns a pet this is not just in college but i think as a college student this is another thing you really have to take into account because you know college is a time for growing as a young adult developing and learning all of your self-care habits and rituals and if you aren't super like 
dedicated to those or have yet to discover what works for you, it'll be even harder to take care of yourself. And in many ways, you know, I have to thank Kalani. Like I'm super grateful for him in my life because he has kind of pushed me and given me that extra push to really get a grip my adult responsibilities and kind of my routines and taking care of myself in general. Um, so it can be really good, but it's not something that I, it's not something that I would recommend just like just starting off in college or you have so much to balance still. And if you just don't feel like you have a good handle on taking care of yourself, no, like just know you literally are going to have a whole nother life to care for and, you know, be responsible for. This brings us to the last con and that is that, you know, you can't really go out and party that much. Um, I personally don't. I will admit I definitely had my crazy rager like party days as a freshman and kind of into my sophomore year. A lot of that has to do with me just kind of maturing into myself and not enjoying the college bar scene but it also has to do with Kalani. Kalani honestly adds so much extra time needed for me getting ready to even leave the home even if it's something as simple as running errands and going to the grocery store. You know, I have to make sure he's been outside to go to the bathroom. I have to make sure he is taken care of, fed if it's that time of day. I have to make sure he finds his way into the crate, which can be challenging because Kalani does not like his crate. These are kind of all of the things that I think could be possible cons um, as a college student and a dog owner at the same time. Everyone always tells me how cute Kalani is. Oh, he's so cute. Oh my God, I want a dog. Oh, I wish I could, da 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 da. And I'm like, you know, these are the realities and realistically, I am an old soul. Most people call me a grandma or, or the mom of the group. I am not your typical college student who is spending all the time out drinking, being social, spending all the time on campus. Like, that's just not what I do. And a large part of that is because I have a dog. It's such a privilege and beautiful thing to be a dog owner, to be Kalani's mom. Oh, it like makes me so like emotional. I am like, the most important person in his life and I'm his caregiver and without me you know he wouldn't really survive. Dogs aren't something to just be passed around and you know thrown away to the next home whenever you get tired of them they're not just a toy you can play with and get rid of. I to kind of come on here and give you guys my thoughts and if anything hopefully you got a little laugh out of him throwing up that cat toy and looking so crazy and also thank god that he threw it up because if he didn't and it got stuck you know I would have had to have surgery and he might not have survived and I might have had all these extra vet bills. The things of being a dog mom. I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> All right, guys, that wraps up this video. If you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button, please. Please do it, lady. And yeah, check out some of my other videos. As always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.